Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little informal video of my friendship bracelet or like macrame bracelet, string bracelet collection. Um, I didn't plan to do this video so this isn't going to be super polished and professional, but I'm selling my bracelets at a craft sale this weekend and I realized that I probably should film this video before then in case um, you guys were interested in it because hopefully they will all be gone. Um, if you're wondering, I also sell my bracelets in my Etsy, which is always linked down below. Currently, there's only like one bracelet in my Etsy because I'm going to restock it after the sale if I have leftover bracelets, and if not, I'll restock it later. But I'm also going to be adding new stickers and things to my shop next week, so you can check back there um, then if you're interested. So let's get started. The first bracelets I'm going to show you are the ones that have sliding adjustable knots, like these. Um, the reason I do my bracelets like this sometimes is because they have um, an odd number of strings and I don't like to fiddle around and do a loop with bracelets that have odd number of strings. So let's get started. This bracelet is a basic candy stripe bracelet and I actually have a tutorial on this. It's my um, most recent video besides this one. So if you check on my channel you'll be able to find it. And it's just kind of like cool tones. I really like the colors that I chose for this one and it has a sliding knot. And by sliding knot, I mean like you'd have on like a pure Vita bracelet. Like they're very, um, just basic adjustable knots. So you can take it on and off easily. I changed the lighting a little bit, so hopefully you can see this better. Um, this next bracelet is one of my favorites. Um, I should mention all of the ones that aren't just basic, like a chevron or a candy stripe, are patterns that I got off the app and website bracelet book. My bracelet book username is just Eileen K, I believe. I'll try to leave a link down below. And on there I have pictures of almost all of these bracelets and if you click on the pictures it'll tell you the pattern number and you can click the pattern and it'll take you to that pattern. That bra or that website or app is a great resource for finding the bracelet patterns if you're interested. So this is one that I made off that app. Um, I really love the colors. I just used the colors that were in the pattern. Um, I love the colors, I love how simple it is, and I like how the braids turned out on the end. So that's another one with an adjustable knot. This one is um, kind of like a rainbow braid. Oh, if I move over here, it's much better. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a rainbow braid. It has a bunch of different colors in it. Um, this one I really like, and I'd like to make more of them with different colors as well. Uh, yeah, nothing super complicated about that one, but I think it did turn out really nice. Continuing on, next I have this one. This one is one that I would love to make again because I made a couple mistakes in it, but it's just little tiny bees, and I think that's so cute. At one point I had a different bracelet that was larger bees going down the center, and I sold it, but I want to make more of that pattern as well. I think bees are so good. Save the bees, guys. All right. And finally, my last bracelet that's tied with an adjustable knot is this one. It's just an American flag themed bracelet. Um, it's a pretty simple pattern. It was pretty easy to make. It's basically just a candy stripe with some extra little white loops in there. And um, it's not perfect, actually. It's an older bracelet, but I do really like that, and I think it's very eye-catching. Now we're going to move on to the flat bracelets, and I'm going to try to do them um, in like little categories because I have some that are the same pattern as other ones, but uh, I'm just going to do my best. So let's get started. This is a simple chevron bracelet, except I made this one out of yarn, so it's super thick. I just used um, six colors, so 12 strands, and it's just a rainbow. Um, the loop looks a little strange because of the yarn. But uh, the good thing about doing bracelets with yarn is they go super fast and they turn out really thick and pretty. So this one would be a super cool summery bracelet. Next I have this chevron, which is kind of in like tropical rainbow colors, and they're not in actual rainbow order. And this one also has six colors, so you can see like the size difference between the yarn and the embroidery floss. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. It's just a simple chevron. On most of my bracelets, I have just a um, basic loop with braided strings. On some of them, I just have a tied loop you'll see later. And those are my older bracelets or ones where I was lazy and didn't feel like doing a fancy loop. But there's that one. I have one more chevron that I made with yarn. This one's just pink, purple, and blue. And it's just with three strands of yarn. Next, I have two bracelets that are like bordered chevrons. You just do forward-backward knots or backward-forward knots on each side with a border color. So this one is kind of a beige border color and it's in sort of fall colors. But then this one is a little weird. It's kind of this, it's the same pattern, but I used beige and then a multicolored string. So it looks like it has a lot more colors than just the two in it. But I really like that one as well. I had to change the angle because I was like having a really hard time filming that way. But um, this one is just an arrowhead bracelet, and I made this one with only four colors. Okay, then I have three more um, arrowhead bracelets. This is one of my favorite patterns because it's easy to memorize. There's only six different rows, 
and this one's just in pastel colors. The next, um, this one and the next two are just with three colors, so three, sorry, six colors, so 12 strands of um, embroidery floss, so I feel like that's a good thickness for them. Here are the other two arrowhead bracelets. This one is just in rainbow colors, but in like a non-rainbow order. And then this one is just in like a gradient of pink and then a gradient of blue. Continuing on that trend with the gradient of pink and then the gradient of blue, I have this one. This is a uh, eight color bracelet. Um, and Masha Knotts here on YouTube has a tutorial for it. It's also in bracelet book and it's just a simple pattern. You repeat the same row over and over. I believe it's called the uh, Fishbone Chevron um, on her channel if you want to go find it. And then this is my first fishbone chevron that I made. There's a little mistake in it right here. Um, I made this a really long time ago. I think this is the oldest bracelet I have here, and it doesn't have a real loop on the end, but um, I really like that one too. Next, I have this bracelet that I kind of hate. I tried to do a candy stripe with a border like I do in my fishtails, and it just turned out super wrinkly and gross, but it's kind of like candy corn colors. This is another one of my favorite patterns. It's just a little flower one, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's little green leaves in there too. Um, I really like this one, and I actually made another one that I sold that I loved. It had a white background with green leaves and red flowers and then a blue border, and it looked like some, um, like, dinnerware. You'd have, like, antique china with, like, little flower borders on the plates, and I just loved that. So I feel like I'm going to make another one, maybe, with those colors again. This one is a shorter one because I ran out of thread, and I actually uh, don't love this bracelet either. It's for um, Masha Knotts. Uh, September challenge which I did never even posted this because I didn't like it I think what I didn't like about it is the thread I used for the white was a different brand so it made it look super bumpy if you can see that um, and it's thinner than the other colors so don't love it but I mean it's still pretty I like the colors so there's that this is a circle bracelet it's the first one I've made and it's not perfect but I do like the colors that I used here I use Pinterest to find a lot of my color combos this one was a picture of some like French cookies um, so it's got like some pastels and then some browns, so I do like the circle bracelets. This one is one of my absolute favorites. I love um, bugs and insects. If you haven't, uh, if you didn't know that about me, I have a little zine in my Etsy shop and some stickers that are uh, Michigan bugs and insects. But this is just some ladybugs and I think it's so cute. I want to make this one again um, with some different colors maybe, so I do love that one. And then continuing on that trend, I have this one that's little butterflies. I love the little butterflies. Um, and I tried to make them look like monarchs, like I did orange on the inside and then brown, so I think that one's cute too, and I want to make a bee one to go with those um, sometime. Okay, we're almost done. This one is just a very simple bracelet with four colors. Um, not too much to say about it. I used primary colors in green, and it's alright. I mean, I don't hate it. I think it's kind of fun. It's really thin and cute. Next we have this one, which looks super wrinkly, but that's just because it wants to be like curled up in a circle like that. Um, I used a multicolored thread and then a white thread, and it's just the vertical wave bracelet, which is basically how you do the backgrounds on like name bracelets and alphas, so uh, I do like that. And as you can see, I had to tie some more thread on in a couple places on the back, but I don't know. This is my mom's favorite one that I've made, so I kind of want to make more of it because I have a lot of this multicolored thread. We're almost done, and the last two bracelets are two of my favorites. This one is a pattern on bracelet book that I love, and I want to make more of this one too. I love this little section right here, and I love how the colors get rearranged every time the pattern repeats itself. So like all three of these are different, and there's six options because I had six colors. It kind of reminds me of like a Native American or an Aztec design, I'm not totally sure. But that's just the impression I get from it, especially with these colors, so there's that one. And then finally my last bracelet is this rainbow one. I feel like it could be a pride flag or just a little rainbow. I just did these colors because they were in the pattern. And I want to make it again with more colors because I love this little like stripey look. Um, so yeah, that's my last bracelet. Okay, so thank you for watching my bracelet collection video. I hope you guys liked it. As I said, I hope this is the last time as well as the first time that you guys are all going to see these bracelets because I'm hoping to sell them all. Um, if not, they'll be in my Etsy shop and either way I'll be restocking my Etsy shop with more bracelets soon. So look there for these and some more stickers. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you for almost 4,000 subscribers. That's crazy to me because I haven't posted on here consistently um, for the past year or so and I'm really trying to get back into that. So I hope you guys like this. Leave me some video ideas down below if you have any requests and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!